Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. Let's find out what's going on with Pisces in love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope everyone is doing well, Pisces. I hope it's all good. So this would be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Especially if you have someone in mind, Pisces, let's find out um, their thoughts, their feelings, and possible outcome. All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Wow, first of... First card out is Knight of Pentacles, the Hangman, well, the Hermit. You've got someone here who is waiting on you, Pisces. Somebody who could be Pisces, or this is you. I'm getting a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries. Okay, so your situation, you're not acting on it. You're still holding your cards on your chest that means you're not really putting yourself out there for some of you you have already shown your cards and you're waiting for the other person to um revert back or to put in some action yeah in order for you to see if there is a potential here to grow a connection right you have a plan in mind but you're not executing it right now the person that you have in mind, Pisces, this is someone who's not doing anything right now. Physically, they're not. Um, position is the hanged man position, hanging themselves upside down. Um, what I said in the last reading, this is someone who's waiting for that time when they have a good idea, a good decision, a good um, thought that would come to mind in, a, in actually what to do with their current situation. It looks like they haven't reached a certain realization or awakening because of the hermit energy. They are still taking that time off yeah, from the world. Could also be from you. Could be from other people as well. But more of internalizing things. Yeah? They, are, they are understanding. They're taking the time to understand how they feel about their situation with you and what they think about it, and to see whether their thoughts and their feelings are aligned. Yeah, because someone here is needing some rest, especially emotionally. Yeah, when things become so gloomy, when things become so uncertain or confusing, sometimes you just have to take a break, take a rest until you know this is nighttime, the moon comes out at night. You have to take that rest until daybreak comes, yeah, until the sun comes out again. So it's more like resting face. On your end, I'm seeing, Pisces, that you are on the go for some of you. You could be chatting with other people or keeping yourself entertained, busy, possibly going to new places, taking new adventures, searching for places to go to, yeah. Now, um, I see that this person, because they are trying to get to some form of realization, it's likely that they are also kind of waiting for you to possibly reach out. They're waiting for you to take action, especially Pisces. If you have been initiating in the past, now this person is sort of waiting. When would Pisces initiate? <laughs> or when would I hear from Pisces? Something like that. You have someone here who's expectantly waiting for your return. Yeah. Outcome, I like it. The Emperor. It looks to me that someone here will take that stand, will take that leadership role Yeah, in a relationship or in a connection where someone would be strong enough, confident enough to at least speak their mind yeah in for in the form of communication in a form of reaching out so that a plan can be in place so that a good um path for a relationship because we're talking about love here could come on board all right let's get clarification pisces all right I th the reason why you are not really 
chasing this person because you know you're good on your own. Whoa. At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Let's tackle that soon. But you know that you're good on your own. You're stable. You're comfortable. You're good on your own. Um, but it would be good, you know, to have that type of relationship with someone where you feel like you can build more. You can build a life together. You can share experiences together. And I feel like that's where you are. You are. Now, um, even if this person is not reaching out to you, I feel like there is an energy here of someone feeling like, um, if you're not reaching out, Pisces, this person is feeling like, shoots, maybe Pisces is done and over with me. We have the death card here, right? So, and then the devil card. It looks like somebody is feeling things are starting to darkened things are starting to end yeah hence the fool coming out here would mean that with that anxiety of course if things are coming to an end and somebody doesn't want to end it that anxiety could cause someone to just you know take that leap of faith yeah, the full card energy that even if they don't know exactly what's happening in your in your end, Pisces, whatever you're thinking about, they are not sure what you're thinking about. They're not sure about how you feel. Someone here, even if they don't know what to do, there is a tendency for this person to want to be more impulsive in reaching out to you, in taking that step towards you. But at some point, in terms of really putting action, they go... Some one day they become so impulsive in their thoughts and say, "Okay, I want to initiate to Pisces." Oh, never mind. I'll step back for a while. So there is still, in terms of action, they are going back and forth with it. But in their mind, in their heart, they want to um, take that step forward. Yeah, especially if they feel like you are you have emotionally detached. The more you are emotionally detached, this person, the more this person would feel that you are too far away from them it's not just physically but also emotionally mentally and energetically the more you are emotionally detached Pisces that means you're doing you you do your own thing this person can feel that the cord in the energetic cord has been cut that you no longer need them that you no longer feel connected to them and all the more that's going to be a cause of worry for someone who doesn't want to end things okay and what you can hear you you could expect in the future in the near future is a message from this person they will initiate yeah they will initiate so let's see what's going on here tell us more i feel like this person would even you know could not even stop thinking about you yeah there's something about you, Pisces, that is very comforting to this person. It could be you're very understanding towards them. You were very patient. You were open. Yeah, you have opened up yourself to them. And that is that type of bond that you created makes this person feel that they are important to you because you open up. But the moment you step out, the moment you feel like you dis they feel like you disconnected, then they get confused, they get stuck. I feel like this person could even be obsessively thinking about you right now and ob obsessively thinking that they messed up. Yeah, they messed up and they don't even know what to do. They messed up because they, they have taken for granted somebody who was very compassionate, very understanding towards them. All right. I feel like they are now thinking where to go, what, where to bring this connection to, what would be their next step. Okay. Feel safe hiding. So hiding their feelings for fear of what happens next. So like I said, when you move on, this person would feel it. Now they're hiding their feelings because they're not sure and they are fearful of what's going to happen next. But then when you move on, which is when you detach, this person gets crazier yeah, in terms of that. So you can trust them. They've learned their lessons and have changed. It's okay to trust. 
only when they reach out first. Yeah, that's the message there. And then we have haunted. They can't get you out of their head. Your memory haunts them. And there are lessons to be learned. Trust the journey. So basically, Pisces, it's true. They can't get you out of their head. They know they messed up. But on the other hand, trust the journey. Don't, don't be in a rush, right? Let it be. Because this person will soon realize that, you know, they have messed up a good thing and um, this impulsiveness that they have could lead, would lead to that message. Yeah, in order for this emperor to really take shape. Yeah, they would send you a message and with that new message, you would expect that it's more um, credible, it's more confidently delivered, <laughs> right? Yeah, reaching out. They will be reaching out and second thoughts and no one compares. Wow, connect with me. Please, please listen. For some of you, you have been calling this person and um, possibly they hang up or they don't even respond to you, you know, or sometimes they give you some time, but then they cut short, you know. But I feel here that someone is really wanting to reach out, but is having second thoughts. Literally, these two cards um, magnifies this amplifies these other two cards here somebody wants to reach out but then also having some second thoughts but you know this is something they cannot avoid because they may have other people in life they may have other choices everyone has choices right but this person realizes that no one compares to you and that they would want to connect with you so or this is even somebody who's asking Please listen and please connect with me. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's waiting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.